A medical rethink is being proposed tonight about hormone therapy for women with severe menopause. The new Canadian research suggests the risks may have been overstated, potentially upending decades of advice for women struggling with difficult symptoms. CTV's Heather Butts reports. The average age of menopause in Canada is 51, but for many, symptoms hit much younger. Like many women, I was blindsided by menopause. At the height of my professional career in my 40s, I started to experience symptoms. Janet Coe had night sweats, heart palpitations, brain fog and sleeplessness. Now president of the Menopause Foundation of Canada, Coe opted for hormone therapy to help treat the debilitating effects. And it was a game changer. Within a week, I started to feel like myself again. It's not a magic pill. It's not for everyone. Hormone therapy has been controversial since the 90s when a major study found an association with higher rates of breast cancer and stroke. A new review published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal suggests that previous studies overstated the risks that were mainly associated with women over 60 when they go up anyway due to age. From that was a huge trickle-down effect where newer physicians weren't trained in menopause management, a lot of fear among prescribing. The new report found the risks are much lower for women in their 40s and 50s. The additional risk of breast cancer for women 50 to 59 is estimated at three additional cases for every 1,000 women who use the therapy for five years. Our goal is really just to make other doctors out there know that the attitudes we have and philosophies around menopause management are not the same as they were 20 years ago. Articles like this actually blow open the conversation. Conversations experts say are vital to have even before symptoms set in. People should qualify for their treatment based on their symptoms, which for some people may start as early as their early 40s. And if we wait until people are a certain age, it means we've actually missed an opportunity to support them. Doctors stress every treatment plan should be personalized. The paper is intended to help doctors and patients weigh the risks and benefits of hormone therapy. Sandy. Heather, thank you.